All right, uh, so Isaiah came up to us last week, actually came up to me after I was recovering from surgery last Wednesday, and he laid down next to me and says, Daddy, I'm, I'm scared. He'd been listening and he'd heard us talk and he recognized what we were talking about with the cancer. He was able to put two and two together, and of course we were consoling him and telling him it's gonna be okay, we're gonna beat this, and we are. But he um, said, there's a cool thing we've got, Isaiah, it's called hope. Yeah, we got hope for what God's put in front of us and how he's gonna help us through this and the doctors and modern medicine that we've got, all that provides us a lot of hope. Even doctors saying it's very beatable, but the hope goes way beyond that. It was a really cool teaching moment to be able to give him some perspective of beyond this life. And uh, for 11 year old boy, that's, that's a tough concept to grab sometimes, but it's really neat to live it out in front of him to have him know that dad's hope is in Jesus and whatever road lies ahead for now, he's gonna help me. And then forever, I've got that hope of no matter where this road leads, I know it's gonna lead me eventually to him. And uh, that's happening, of course, right now, growing closer to him, growing closer to the family, as I mentioned before. But it was cool to see Isaiah get a little bit of a, huh, hope. It's just that concept kind of hit him a little bit stronger. And so, you know, and again, just one of those little side benefits of, of this journey to see my kids growing through it. Even as they struggle through the concept of, wow, what are we really facing? Uh, it became a little bit more clear today. We, we saw the radiologist. Radiologist is the last in the line of doctors that we needed to see. She laid it out really, really clear for us as well. And yep, the road is gonna be really difficult. In fact, she suggested we just go ahead and, and say we're gonna put the feeding tube in because in all of her time, she's only had two patients who've had this kind of cancer who've ever not needed it. Uh, said expect your throat to swell to the point of um, really difficult. I'm gonna have to puree steak or hamburgers if I wanna eat them. Sounds kind of nasty, but uh, we'll do that. Uh, but we got seven weeks of radiation every day, Monday through Friday, and once a week we'll do chemo and that's gonna happen three weeks after surgery. Surgery is gonna happen the 27th, so uh, we got nine days, nine days before we get these things out. We're, we're anxious to get them out. But guys, I, I wanna ask you to continue to pray. Uh, of course, my family, my wife, um, got a lot of challenges ahead trying to figure out how we're gonna juggle church and me being able to speak and, and all those things. There's a lot of variables in this. We, we're just guessing. We really are. I mean, the doctors can give us some ballpark ideas, but until we actually get to those points, uh, we don't know exactly what we're facing. But I want to tell you this. Your, your prayers are felt, and your encouragement, and all the messages you guys are sending, I ask you to keep sending them. Please pour them on. Um, share this video out there. I've been hearing some amazing stories. It's really cool. Uh, friends of friends of friends who somehow get this video and they're going through a similar battle or maybe they're really far from God and they're starting to have some spiritual conversations. They're starting to ask those deep questions and, and you know what? That's awesome. I'll take that. If that's what God wants to do with this and how he wants to use this, then uh, all the more power to him. I'm just thankful for it. Appreciate you guys and your prayers. Uh, we'll keep you updated, but for now, that's about all I got. About nine days, we'll get this thing cut out. Thanks, guys. Till next time, see ya. You're calling me over. You're pulling me close. With love, you surround me. You give me Yeah, yeah.